the real. Hello and welcome to the new video. All right, in today's video, we have some dusty configuration. It's been slightly overheating because of the dried out thermal paste. To prevent that, we are going to change thermal paste. Stay with me and enjoy in the video. All right, first, what you want to do is to remove connector for fan. When it is removed, you want to take screwdriver and to unscrew these four ones that holds heat sink. Always go to the cross screwing, as I have learned you up to this day. All right. Now let's remove this one. So as you can see, uh, first let's clear the CPU. All right, you need this cotton or wool. We need, where is it? All right, so isopropyl and Ryzen. I think this is third generation, but they all sit in the same AM4 socket, so it is not that much important to me. Now be very careful when you are doing this. Do not damage something or you're not going to turn your PC anymore. There is a lot of dust in here. I don't have air compressor, so I'm going to use vacuum cleaner. Are you ready for some noise? <laughs> All right, it's enough. Let's clean the CPU just a little bit more. We want it to be shiny. It is clean when you hear this squeaky noise. Now let's clean the heatsink. So first I'm going to use so don't forget when you are removing this part to unscrew these two screws and then remove it. Uh, someone before me didn't know that so he break down these two things so to remove fan from the heat sink when you take off the mask. You can see why it is overheating. Now, again, vacuum cleaner. Make some noise for the vacuum cleaner. All right, now the dust from the screws. All right, like a brand new heatsink. Uh, let's just take, I need more wool. <clears throat> All right, now isopropyl to make it shiny. Squeaky noise. And there it is. Good. Now let's clean this fan. I'm going to use vacuum cleaner again. All right, now. <clears throat> Toothbrush, just to 
fully clean this dust. All right, let's mount this on the heat sink. So place it nicely, take the screws and screw them in. Nothing complicated. All right, so we successfully mounted fan on the heat sink. And now what you want to do, you want to place this mask again so you want to put it in here and just be very careful and press it down all right so this knows to be a little bit tricky because you have this cooler holder that stays under the motherboard and you have cooler to mount on the motherboard. So first we are going to apply thermal paste, then we are going to put this cooler holder under the motherboard, hold it for a bit until we just screw in this cooler for a bit just to, 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 to hold it on this mounting point. Goddamn English. All right, so Arctic. MX4, as always, you want to create a cross on the CPU. If you put too much, it is not good. If you put too little, it is not good. I think this is an optimal. So, Take the holder, place it on the motherboard. All right, it is in. Now hold it with your left hand. Now take cooler and place it on the holder. Right? All right. So now we need screwdriver. Screw it a bit and now this side always go diagonally now this side and now diagonally again All right, and now you can let it go and make sure that you have screw all screws to the bottom. Don't push it too much. You can damage the motherboard and you can damage everything. The screws needs to go all the way in so the cooler connects with the CPU properly. Now take the connector and plug it in in the CPU fan. That is right in here. All right, you have successfully cleaned and changed thermal paste on the AM4 socket and AMD cooler, stock cooler. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching, leave a like, share this video with your friends, subscribe on the channel and if you want to donate, there is a donor box link now there in the description. It will help me to buy better camera and not to watch this shitty video quality. Alright, again, until the next time, goodbye.